today we have Miss Anise Lillard, founder and VP of OTC. Good day, Miss Lillard. How you doing? I'm doing well, Tracy. Thank you so much for having me as your guest. I really appreciate you agreeing to be a part of the show. So tell me, what does OTC mean? OTC is our theater company, and we want it to be inclusive of everyone to take ownership of the art organization that was founded in 2010. Oh, that's awesome. And um, our goal and our mission is to provide an opportunity for artists to share their craft and um, train artists um, performing uh, art and um, include the community. So you're the founder and vice president. So has this been a passion of yours, like, you know, all of your life, or was it something that you just stumbled upon? No, it's, it has been a passion of mine all my life uh, since elementary school. And then in high school, I had an opportunity to work as a talent um, coordinator for talent shows that we did in a small town in Illinois. And that inspired me to continue to produce and reach out to artists because um, I know that we need avenues in order to um, express ourselves as artists. With this being the Allow and Love show, I always ask my guests um, three basic questions. And okay. the first question is, how would you define love? Wow, defining love. I would define love through the scriptures, through the Word of God. That is the first experience I have had to really get the essence of what love is. Because love is long-suffering, love is kind, it's not mm. cruel. Um, love is, goes beyond what we expect. Mm -hmm. And when you have the definition from the Word of God, then you're able to uh, combine that with who you are as a person. Yeah. So my definition comes from the Word of God. And 1 Corinthians 13 uh, says that, uh, gives a more clear definition of what love is. It says, if you burn your body as a sacrifice um, and have not love, you accomplish nothing. If you yes. give everything that you have to the poor but have not love, you haven't accomplished anything. That, those actions have to be part of love. Love has to be the motivation for doing those things. And, you know, along those lines, um, part of my experience and my the revelation that I received in regards to love is um, being in a, a field of as far as being a healer and being around healers. Um, it came to me uh, that you can receive a healing, but it will not last if it doesn't come from a place of love or received from that place. So that just is really awesome that, you know, if we really look at what love truly is, it goes way beyond anything that we can do in our physical being. Absolutely. Yes. So with that being said, uh, what is your experience of the love that you just described? You know, something that, you know, you know, without a shadow of a doubt that that experience was, was an expression of love or uh, love that tra transformed your heart, your mind, your spirit um, in regards to the experience that you have. Just share with with the viewers that well let me go back to a time when I didn't love myself because I had low self-esteem mm -hmm. and the low self-esteem was brought about because I was trying to do things on my own not coming from the inside of me but based upon the things that were around me I had the right house I had the right job I had all these things working for me but I didn't have the right spirit on the inside mm -hmm. and that spirit comes from the love of God yes. and he's willing to give it to anyone that asks for it but getting back to when did I discover that is when I had to recognize that love comes from the inside out yes. Yes. like you were talking about healing healing comes from the inside out 
um, medicine is applied to a wound, but if that medicine does not get into that wound, it will not receive the proper healing. Right. So that healing for loving myself, God had to be present in me in order for me to bring that love on the outside. And when you bring that love outside, that brings the light, that draws love to you. Yes. And um, you can experience that completeness in love. Yes, and even with you sharing how you had everything, you had the house, you had the car, you had the job, so and often, so often, you know, you know there's a phrase, phrase that, that I've heard many, I've heard many times, times for looking for love in all the wrong places. Absolutely. And so we, we obtain, obtain all, these all these things or we strive, strive to obtain, to obtain different, different um, material, material things, things but, but we still find ourselves empty or not fulfilled in desiring to experience love from another or, you know, to be fulfilled from other things. But it wasn't until, like you said, that you experienced the love from within that you found peace. And so like when you had the encounter with love and experienced love, did you find yourself not, you know, caring about the other things that you had outside of you materially or individuals, you know, to the degree that you did before you actually had that encounter with love. Well, I still cared for people outside of myself. Yes. But one of the things about love, you have to have, love is something that you have to give away. Yes. And, and the more you give it away, the more you have. And who can contain all of God? We only contain just a part of him. And as we connect with one another, we, we build that strong um, bond. And in building that bond, we're able to give that love to other people, just like with you and I today. Yes. Uh, our bonding, we're bonding with your audience, you know, to let them know that God is here for you. He's, he's, he will give you that mm -hmm. um, drive. Um, the word said, he that hunger and thirsts after righteousness. Um, so, you have to have that hunger and, and thirst for that love in order to be fulfilled. But if you think you have it all together, then how can you hunger or thirst for something? Yes. And that's what God showed me. Yeah, you have all these material things. Sure, you have the perfect job, but you don't have that hunger and thirst for me on the inside. And that had to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. get it through education. You can't get it through uh, possession. But you have to get it from a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. Right. And then earlier when you were saying the more you give, you know, and that made me think about this song that when I was a little girl, I would go to church with my grandmother. Okay. And, uh, you know, the elderly, they would sing this song, the more you give, the more it gives to you. You know, just keep on giving. And so that's really awesome. So the next question I have for you, how do you allow love in and through your life? What are some of the things that, that you are mindful of daily or something that you feel like you're in that place where you are allowing love through you? Well, one of the ways uh, I'm allowing love without being preachy is through uh, our theater company. Mm -hmm. We, our gifts are, uh, in creativity is a gift from God. Yes. And when we can surround ourselves with other artists who have the same passion, mm -hmm. the same love for creating something out of nothing, yes. um, we allow love to be a part of that entity. Yes, yes. And um, so that's one of the ways that uh, I allow love to uh, present itself through the theater company, uh, the arts organization. So it's like one to another in terms of um, the, the artists working together and opening up their heart to allow creativity to flow in and through them? Uh, yes, in teaching. Teaching, teaching is a passion. Okay. Uh, teaching workshops, um, whether it's script writing or doing poetry workshops, um, um, profounding your, I mean, building on your um, acting, um, producing, um, so those ways, um, drawing, painting, That's so it's, awesome. it's bringing what's inside out. So by you guys um, opening up yourselves to, to teach and make uh, your profession available to others, that helps them 
to be able to tap into their higher self, as I would call it, yes. in order to be able to allow the creativity to flow from within them to extend out to others, as we are doing today on the Allowing Love Show, yes. sharing from your perspective what love is and yes. how you actually allow it in and through your life and your experience of love. Is there anything else you would like to share in regards to love and your experience of, or, you know, some work that you're doing right now or um, have done that you know that has transformed others' lives as a result of your production company? Well, one of the things we're working on an independent uh, film is called Here Am I, okay. and it is about the love of a woman who was very wealthy, but she had the love for the children um, on the south side of Chicago. Okay. And through her efforts and her faith, she was able to form a mission, Bible uh, Witness Mission, uh, where they taught the children the principles of the Bible. And those principles, as you know, are life-giving. Yes. And that was in, in her heart. And we know that what's in our heart, mm -hmm. he art, his art, oh. uh, goes a long way. And Mrs. Ford uh, wanted someone to uh, start, uh, help her with a particular camp that she had started about maybe 60 miles uh, south of Chicago. And there was a family that had a heart for God and they volunteered to, uh, after much prayer, um, they decided they would take on the challenge and run the camp. Mm -hmm. And the day they decided they would run the camp, Mrs. Ford passed on the mantle and she passed. Oh. And they have been running that particular camp for 60 years. Here the children, they don't have to um, pay anything oh, uh, to attend awesome. the camp. They just have to learn scripture, uh, the principles of life, because that's what God is in our life. He gives us life more abundantly. And, and once the children learn particular scriptures, then they're able to attend the camp for two weeks uh, during the summer. Oh, that is so awesome. And so you said she transitioned she right transitioned. after the, the camp was started. Yes. And so it was, it was like her purpose and her, her mission was complete. And so she was able to go on to a, a higher plane. Absolutely. Fulfilling Absolutely. her purpose. That is really, really awesome. And that's a true example of allowing love. It and is. And so with your company, um, being able to um, produce that piece and sharing it with others, maybe it'll inspire someone else to do the same. So that Thank is you. so wonderful. Thank you. Well, this is Tracy Johnson and Miss Anise Lillard. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. And as always, love is all there is. It is a force that gives life to everything and everyone. It is experienced and expressed in many different ways and to the degree that you allow love will be to the degree that you will experience it and have the capacity to express it. Again, this is Tracy Johnson of Allowing Love. Until next time, thank you. The journey of life often creates blockages of doubt, fear, and disbelief. This can dam up our hearts and hinder the flow of love. To find out more about Allowing Love, contact Tracy Johnson at allowing528hz at gmail.com or call 678-653-2688.